Salutations Legion. This is Wayu Merch. And today I have the mini verse make it mini food all you can eat set which has 101 pieces and you can make mini food with UV resin. Hope you don't mind the noise. There seems to be a lot today because it is Saturday and I'm not at my house actually. So let's open this up. When we remove the cover, you can see it looks like a kitchen. It says MGA's mini verse. And there's like a refrigerator and a freezer, some drawers with kitchen supplies. Let's see if there's anything on the back. On the back, some more cabinets and drawers. Some cooking tools and pans, cheese grater. It's a shopping list with only coffee and milk on it. And on this side, some baking ingredients and cups and bowls and things like that. Plates. So let's see what's actually inside. So it comes with all of these items. A bunch of shelves that you can actually take out. Um, I might take out those little cardboard inserts because they keep falling out. I don't really, don't really want to deal with that every time. But you can see there's different containers for your foods. And there are some little crispers or refrigerated sections. And some crates that you can keep them in, which is what I've done. You can see in this one. I put all of the utensils and straws. And then for this, I put a couple refrigerated items. Comes with a little kitchen island that you can use separately. It is made of cardboard. I put all the baked goods in this one, a few refrigerated items in the other ones, and a few snacks and things in this one. So we're going to look at those in depth, um, the little pieces that come with it. They also give you this sort of placemat for you to make your resin foods on. On the back, you can see there's a meal planner the different days of the week, and I guess the weekend counts as one day. Here's some recipes you can write them in. It's like a menu. And a cute little shopping list. I won't be writing on this. I'll probably just be using this as like a placemat for now. Let's unveil our kitchen. I think it looks really cute facing this way. You can see the different parts. I can show you each of them. We have some cinnamon rolls in a box that says just baked. We have donuts in a yellow orange box. Container of mini tarts. These are the shelves that you're supposed to fill in with fruits and resin. There are Three pancakes in here. They are rainbow pancakes, so pink, orange, and yellow. This is really cute. I can't wait to make the pancakes, honestly. There are maple syrup and glaze bottles that have um, tips so that you can squeeze them on more precisely. 
this whipped cream here actually opens up and there are little ice cream no, there are little whipped cream uh, dollops in there some macarons in three colors there are 12 of them and up here there is a little container of melted chocolate it seems like white chocolate just based on the image here I like this cute little sun this goofy little smile oh here's some grape jelly two different colors of sprinkles this one in yellow and white and this one in a mix of purple, pink, and green. And we have some white chocolate chips you can use to decorate some desserts. A couple drinks. There is orange juice. Cola. And some oat milk. some bread. This is rye bread. There's two pieces in there. I thought it was cinnamon bread before. There's some um, fruit containers. Orange is in this one and kiwi in the other. Put the rest of the fruits in here. We've got strawberries, bananas, avocados, blueberries, and I think these are blackberries. Then over here, we have some ice cream. Let's take those out. Raspberry sorbet. If you open it, there's actual scoops in there. Mango sorbet. Also some scoops. Two bags of ice. These are cubed ice and here is like slush, slushy ice. Let's move to this container. It has some dry goods. We have super spicy tortilla chips in a little bag. Choco Nana Ring cereal. I wish this was real. That would be a great idea. And elbow macaroni pasta. Doesn't say on it this time that it is elbow macaroni, but um, last time I think it said what style of pasta it was. Here is a little can of tomato soup. Up here, there's a cake. It's a layer cake with two layers. And you can see it has little cake display plate two bowls this one for you to display desserts I think for the macarons you can see here there are two sort of um, milkshake cups with four straws Two mason jars. There's two round plates over here, like sort of oval shaped plates. And on top of it, I put the ice cream scoop, tongs, and a cake 
slicer. Here are some rectangular plates. I decided to put the knives on it. There's four of them. And there are two ice cream bowls. I put one I put the uh, forks in one of them and the spoons in the other. There's four each. Also comes with a little recipe booklet with only five recipes on there for orange juice, fun donuts, macaron cake, rainbow pancakes, and a berry sorbet. I will probably not make these the same way, but these are good as suggestions. So let's actually make some of these. Okay, so the first thing that I'll be making are these mini tarts. I'll be using all of the fruits and the maple syrup since I feel like it kind of matches the color of the tarts uh, shells and it just sort of looks like there's only fruit in there. So let's see how that turns out. I'm going to be putting the tip on the maple syrup bottle. So that way when we squeeze it out, it will be more precise. And I'm gonna start squeezing the resin into the little shells. a little on the bottom, just enough to, so that we can stick the fruits in there. You can see my hands are shaking a lot. It's kind of difficult to squeeze the bottom. Okay, now that we've added the resin, we can start adding the fruits. So I have all of them. Strawberry, orange, blackberry, kiwi, blueberry, and banana. I'll just start adding a few pieces of fruit to each of these. open them all up first so that way we can easily choose which fruits we want to put in. This one's kind of easy to open. will go in. So I think I will show you how I make one of these and then I will make the rest of them off camera so that we don't use up a lot of our time. So we just place a little thing of kiwi and some
Maybe a few blueberries to fall in there. Then I will add a little bit more of the syrup on top. So that way I can make sure that if I layer it on there, it's going to stick. Just a few more blueberries on top. Okay, let's make another one in front of you. Let's go with the other side of the color wheel. We'll use orange. Oh, we can place it that way. A little bit of banana. And strawberry. Alright, so I finished making the fruit tarts. They were under the UV light for a couple minutes. I tried to keep each of them looking different from the next one. So let's make the next thing. Okay, so the next thing that I'm going to be making is the rainbow pancakes. They're inside this box, and hopefully it's not going to be difficult for me to open it. There's three of them in there. Pink, orange, and yellow. And I've decided I'm going to be using the pink glaze, the maple syrup again, and the orange juice is going to function as like some sort of orange marmalade. I've got the yellow and white sprinkles, and both flavors of sorbet. I'm going to be making the pancakes one at a time. So I'm just going to slip these off to the side for a second, and let's start with the pink one. and pink glaze so that it will stick. And I need to put on the tip so that way it can squeeze the glaze precisely. spinning. I'm just going to place it on one side and throw on a few sprinkles. And I'm going to throw this under the UV light. So I'll we'll be back with a dry pancake. So I finished making the first pancake. Looks like this. I'm going to make the yellow pancake look kind of the same, although we're going to use the maple syrup as our resin so that we can stick on the toppings. And then we'll throw on a scoop of the mango sorbet. And our sprinkles. And 
I'm gonna put this under the UV light for a couple, couple minutes and we will check back on it once it's done. And for the last one, the orange pancake. This one's just gonna be in the middle. So I'm not gonna be putting any ice cream on it. It's just gonna have um, orange marmalade, which is really just the orange juice. And the sprinkles. So we're just going to squeeze on some of the orange. Throw on some sprinkles. Throw on some sprinkles. Since this one is only going to be in the middle. under the UV light and our pancakes will be done. And there they are, the rainbow pancakes, pink, orange, and yellow. We have two scoops of ice cream and a bunch of sprinkles. I think they look really cute. Okay, let's move to the next thing. Okay, so the next thing that I'm going to make is this soup with pasta and a little can of soup. This pasta won't stay up. This is actually a twist open can. Let's just drop it in because it was ready to leave the can as soon as possible seems. We might empty the entire, the entire can in there. And let's get our pasta. I already opened beforehand. Look how cute the little container is. This is Grand Opera on the side. And I'm not going to use all of it, probably just enough to show that it's in there. Kind of reminds me of like spaghettios. This is the shade of red that the uh, tomato soup is. But it's not even really supposed to be a soup with spaghettios, right? Make sure that all the pasta gets incorporated. I don't know if I'll have room for all of the pasta, so I'm being really careful. So 
So actually what I'm gonna do is get it to be like this and then I will put it under the UV light so that way um, it kind of just looks like the spoon is dipping in to the soup. Or maybe I'll just leave it in like this. Yeah. The soup, it's solid now, and all the pasta kind of sank to the bottom. And the spoon is forever embedded in resin. So let's move to the next recipe. So next I'm going to make a drink, and this one is going to be like a orange juice with some orange slices and berries and blackberries. It's sort of like, I guess, like a fruit drink. I'm going to put it in this. I've got ice. Let's put a little bit of that in. the orange juice so that we can cover up the ice. I'm gonna put this to one there. Doesn't seem to want to come out. Okay. Okay, that's a little bit of the orange juice.
gonna get from that bottle. to top it off. see what it looks like after. Here is the finished drink. You can see all the berries are floating around in there. There's a few at the top. The ice kind of helps keep it where it's supposed to be. And there's some orange slices. The straw is embedded in there. You can pick it up by the straw. Yeah. Okay, and now let's move on to our last recipe. So the last thing I'm going to make is pretty simple. It's just going to be donuts with sprinkle. Uh, not one sprinkle, but many sprinkles and some glaze. I'm going to take them out of the box. And because I feel like it's going to spill on the inside here, And I will do these one at a time. So just to be more precise with it, I'm going to put on a tip. And let's start decorating the top. So we're just going to put on bit of the pink glaze or frosting. Just a little bit because this is going to be displaced later when we put on the sprinkles. Let's try to bring it outward so that it doesn't all fall into the middle of the donut. There it is. And then I'm going to add some sprinkles. <laughs> I'm just missing the donut entirely. Oh, 
making this donut, I actually decided for the other one, I'm going to make a regular glazed donut and I'm going to use the oat milk as glaze. It might still have some of the orange juice in it, but I think that might actually give it a cool effect. Like a marbled kind of look. Yeah, this was a better idea than I thought it was going to be. Make sure it doesn't slide off too much. Mm. This one is really... I think I put too much resin. Okay, so that one is a glazed donut. I'm gonna put this in the UV light as soon as possible. Okay, so here are the two donuts before we put them in the box. One of them is plain and glazed, and the other one has frosting and sprinkles. So we'll place them in the box. Close up the box and then forget about them. So there is the entire display. I didn't want to make all of the food so that I can make a few of these by myself without the recording. But this is what it should look like when you display all of the items. Uh, that is all that I have for this video. I hope you enjoyed and hope you felt relaxed. And I will see you in my next video.